Hello, everyone. I'm Jie Ren, a PhD student from University of California, Merced. Today, I will present our work, Zero Offload, Democratizing Billing Scale Model Training. This work was done in collaboration with Microsoft. The size of deep learning model is increasing quickly. The most recent released GPT-3 has over 170 billion parameters. However, for models with multi-billion parameters, a single GPU doesn't have enough memory to fit the model along with the training parameters. Existing works use distributed GPU cluster to scale out the large model training. When a model does not fit the device memory, model parallelism and pipeline parallelism split the model among processes in vertical and horizontal way, respectively. Zero redundancy optimizer is a novel optimization technology for large-scale distributed deep learning. It splits the training batch across multiple GPUs without model states duplication. Zero achieves total result for large model training in terms of training throughput and the trainable model size. However, all of those deep learning parallel technology requires having enough GPU devices such that the aggregated GPU memory can hold the model states required for training. Because of the access to GPU cluster is prohibitively expensive, the bidding scale model are still not reachable for many data scientists and even many academic and industrial institutions. Existing works also trying to scale up the large model training. Heterogeneous deep learning training is a promising approach to reduce the GPU memory requirements by exploring the CPU memory. Specifically, they offload tensors to CPU memory when tensors are not used in computation and prefetch tensors from CPU memory to GPU memory before the computation happens. All of the existing efforts on heterogeneous deep learning training explore CPU memory, but not CPU compute which we find can be used to significantly reduce the communication overhead between CPU and GPUs. Besides, they are mostly designed for and evaluated on a single GPU without a clear path to scaling efficiently on multiple GPUs, which is crucial for large model training. We introduce zero offload, a normal heterogeneous deep learning training technology that enable training of multi-billion parameter models on a single GPU. Zero offload is designed around three goals, efficiency, scalability, and usability. Zero offload enables to train 30 billion parameter model on a single NVIDIA V100 GPU at 40 teraflops. Working with a zero powered data parallelism, zero offload achieves near perfect linear speed up with a multiple GPUs. Zero offload is available as a part of an open source PyTorch library and does not require model refactoring to use. Before digging into the details of offload strategy in zero offload, let's take the data flow graph of mixed precision training as an example and see how the tensors are used in deep learning training. Mixed precision training offers significant computational speed up by performing operations in half precision training format. This graph shows the data flow of mixed precision training, where the circular nodes represents the model states and the triangle nodes represents the computation. In each training step, an FP16 copy of parameters used in forward and backward paths. In order to match the accuracy of FP32 networks, an FP32 copy of parameters and optimizer states such as momentum and variance are maintained and updated with the gradients during the computation of parameter update. At the end of each training step, FP16 parameters is updated based on FP32 parameters. Zero offload partitions the data flow graph with the making few computation happens on the CPU. This is because CPU computation throughput is a multiple orders of magnitude slower than the GPU computation throughput. Besides, zero offload guarantees the minimization of computation value between CPU and GPU memory. And zero offload maximizes the memory savings while achieving the minimum communication value. 
We analyze the computational complexity of deep learning training. The compute complexity of deep learning training per iteration is generally given by O of M times B, where the M is the model size and the B is the effective batch size. Both forward and backward propagation has a compute complexity of O of M times B, which must be done on GPU. The computation of parameter updates has a complexity of O of M and independent of the training batch size, which can be offloaded to the CPU. We further analyze the data volume in bytes that flow through nodes during a training iteration. For a model with the M parameters, the data volume in this graph is either 2M, where the source node produces FP16 model states, or 4M, where the source node produces FP32 model states. Any partitions of this graph requires cutting at least two edges, each of which has an edge width at least 2M, resulting a total communication at least 4M. To achieve few computation happen on CPU, and minimize the communication value, we choose to offload the FP16 gradients, the FP32 model states, the computation of parameter update, and the computation of flow to half to the CPU. We further verify the uniqueness of the offload strategy by showing our offload strategy maximize the model savings while achieving the minimum communication value. The table shows the memory savings of all valid partitioning strategies with the minimum communication volume as 4M. Our offload strategy can achieve the maximum memory savings of eight times. Based on the offload strategy, we present the computation and the communication schedule of using zero offload on a single GPU. Forward propagation computes the loss of CPU communications. During the backward propagation, Zero offload transfers gradients for each parameter in small groups to the CPU memory immediately after they are computed. Zero offload updates the FP32 parameters and the remaining optimizer states directly on CPU. And the copies the updated FP32 parameters from CPU memory to the FP16 parameters on GPU memory asynchronously. Zero offload starts computation for next step on GPU. When the updated FP32 parameters copy to FP16 parameters on GPU memory finish. With zero powered data parallelism, zero offload can scale to hundreds of GPU efficiently. Zero offload preserves the memory states partitioning strategy of zero while offloading the partitioned gradients, optimizer states, and the corresponding parameter updates to CPU. The key benefit of doing partitioning before offloading is that for systems with more than one GPU, each data parallel process is only response to updating a subset of parameters. The aggregated communication volume from all data parallel GPUs to CPU remains constant. We further optimize the CPU execution on zero offload by implementing the highly optimized CPU optimizer, which includes three levels of parallelism. First, we use CIMD vector instruction for fully exploring the hardware parallelism supported on the CPU architecture. Second, we implement loop on rolling to increase the instruction level parallelism. Third, we use OpenMP multi-threading for effective utilization of multi-cores and threads on CPU in parallel. Despite using a highly optimized CPU optimizer, the CPU computation overhead can be a bottleneck during training very small batch sizes. For such limited case, we deploy one-step delay parameter updates that overlaps the CPU and the GPU computes to hide the CPU computation overhead. Specifically, for first n minus one step, the training happens without delayed parameter update to avoid unstable training during the early stage, where the gradients change rapidly. On step n, we get the gradients from the GPU, but we skip the CPU optimizer step and do not update the FP16 parameter on GPU either. 
On step n plus one, we compute the parameter updating on CPU using gradients from step n, while computing the forward and backward paths on GPU in parallel using the parameter updated at step n minus one. From this step on forwards, the parameter will be delayed update for one step, such that the CPU computation can be overlapped with the GPU computation. We evaluate zero offload with the NVIDIA V100 GPUs, which has 32 gigabyte memory on each GPU. We compare zero offload with four baselines, including the state-of-the-art heterogeneous deep learning training solution, L2L, PyTorch distributed data parallelism, model parallelism strategy Megatron, and zero. We first test the largest trainable model on a single GPU as well as 16 GPUs in a single DGX2 node. Zero offload enables 30 billion model training on a single GPU and easily enables training up to 70 billion parameters model with the 16 GPUs combined with the model parallelism. We compare the training throughput of PyTorch, L2L, and zero offload for models with the billion scale parameters on a single GPU. The evaluation uses the same training batch size and the same training micro batch size. Zero offload outperforms L2L by 40% on average in training throughput. This is because zero offload has a lower communication cost between CPU and GPU than L2L. We evaluate the training throughput with the 16 GPUs. We exclude the L2L in this test because this implementation does not support multiple GPU training. For 1 billion to 50 billion models, zero offload achieves the highest throughput compared with PyTorch, zero, and Megatron because zero offload can train with a larger micro batch size and gives higher throughput. Combined with the model parallelism, zero offload enables train up to 70 billion parameter models with more than 30 teraflops throughput per GPU. We test the training throughput of zero offload on up to 128 GPUs, and the figure shows the result. Zero offload achieves near perfect linear speed up in terms of aggregated throughput running at over 30 teraflops per GPU. The figure on the left side shows the training throughput compared with the delayed parameter update and without delayed parameter update to GPT-2 with the same training batch size. The figure on the right side shows the training loss curve of unmodified GPT-2, zero offload without delayed parameter update, and zero offload with delayed parameter update. The result shows the one-step delayed parameter update is an effective technique to improve the training throughput of zero offload without hurting the model convergence and accuracy. To conclude, zero offload is a powerful GPU-CPU hybrid deep learning training technology with a high computation efficiency and a near linear throughput scalability. Zero offload allows data scientists to train models with multi-billion parameters, even on a single GPU, without requiring any model refactoring. Thank you for paying attention to our work and welcome to try zero offload.